Uh, it started in 2009 to 2019. It's been 10 years, a 10-year anniversary. You, you come through those doors and you're welcome. You know, no matter what, you have a dog, you have a Frenchie, that's what brings us together. And not only the love for the dogs and the breed, but family. That's what it's all, got Frenchie family. If you look behind me, you see that, you know? Uh, about five years now, um, but I just started in, uh, in the Frenchies. So uh, that's, that's was my first year doing uh, French Bulldogs. Definitely, it's an expensive taste, you know, but that's what we love. We love to bring that expensive taste to celebrities, to everybody that's willing to, to pay and be part of the God Frenchy family, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> he was born in Maui and his name is Maui. So after our dad passed away, he just became like something that was very therapeutic to us, to the family. So I fell in love with him. He's a part of the family. He's very, very energetic. Yes, he's energetic. Yeah. He's good with the kids. He's good with everybody. And he, he gets along with the other male dog that's like 10 years old. And I was worried that he was going to have a hard time with him, but he's, he's such a good dog. We love him so much. Well, it's been a long time since he's this guy right here. You know who that is? <laughs> What's going on? We're here with Got Frenchy Global. We had a great time today. It was a wonderful event. We did a puppy giveaway. We did a whole bunch of prize giveaways. It was awesome. We had a beer named after us. I couldn't be more happy with the situation. It was a great turnout. This is our 10, 10 year anniversary, so it's, it's just um, it's an amazing thing. We give back to the community and it's a blessing for everybody. And we, we just come together and bring all the family, community together and we throw barbecues, parties and you know, all you guys are invited. So I'm in charge that all these guys are socialized, well, well mannered, and you know, just up to par with health and everything before they get to go home to their new families. So that is that is at the top of our list before anything for them to go home to the proper family and them to be at at the top of their health. Well, we have our name to stand by, and we want to. Um, you know, a lot of people expect a lot from us so you know we have to we have to you know keep our standards up high. We have Batman Bruce Wayne he's actually um, one of the Got Frenchy originals and we use him for a lot of the dog shows so he he goes to a, all the shows he's been in a, a, quite a few music videos. We had a Frenchy giveaway so we had a puppy that was given away to a family and coincidentally they already had two puppies and they were thinking about a third one and hey they won it for free you, wow. you can't you can't beat that with a bat so it was amazing. I did. They called my number. She's lucky. I'm lucky. She's lucky I, I told them, I was like, you know, I'm lucky. I'm going to win this. I could feel it. And he was outside and he saw me running to the stage and he's like, no. <laughs> so these two here, these are our babies Astro and Remy. Well, it's my birthday weekend, so it feels good. It's, it's extra special now. So, yeah, I told Jay I was going to come out here. So, I appreciate him for inviting me out. Um, this is the 10 year anniversary of Got Frenchy. I am Chris's wife. For people that don't know who Chris is, Chris is the original uh, Got Frenchy OG of the whole Got Frenchy family. Um, there were times where he came home, he was like, you know what, babe, let's get a dog. I said, okay, we got one Frenchy. Then he came home with second Frenchy. Then he came home with the third Frenchy. And after the third Frenchy came home, it came into, no, babe, you wake up, you do the next. Feeding. I'm like, no, you do the next feeding. We would argue and argue. And now came to the point where the brothers came along, family came along, friends joined, and 10 years went down the line, and this is what happens. God Frenchy has helped families and friends and everybody financially. It's, it's helped people get through the worst and be able to grow in many ways. And I don't think we're going to be stopping anytime soon. Just keeps growing. Yeah, I'm very proud of them. Oh, this is Ziggy. Ziggy. No, 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 no. Ziggy is not for sale. Ziggy's ten and a half months. Yeah, he's very rare. Quad carrier, 
lilac and tan. He's very rare for the breed. They can be high maintenance if you want them to be. You know, as you can see, you know, you can put a gold chain on them or, or. <laughs> This here is one of the female pups that we produced with God Frenchy uh, out of Earl and uh, just exactly how we like them man. I don't like long tails, really sharp ears, they're really rounded off short, really short muzzle, you know, straight bite and uh, she, she's a Merle so uh, one of my favorite colors. We started this in 09 and uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming down, man. The turnout was really, really live and it's lit. Bro, it's a vision. It's like, you know, when you believe in something and, and, and you can perform an artificial insemination with your brother and your other brother and people start liking it and other people are like, oh, that's sick. We enjoy doing it, not, not for like doing that to a dog, but like creating something nice, man. Like creating a really nice male and having a really nice female and producing something that nobody's ever done before. And it's huge for us. Yep, in 2009, Jmar started working with UC Davis and we started doing DNA and we started testing our dogs for the actual color that they carry, whether they carry blue, chocolate, lilac, the tricolor gene. And we would mix two individual dogs and try to predict what would come out. And we were very successful doing that. And that, that started a long time ago. And now a lot of people are DNAing their Frenchies. You'll see a lot more of them now. It's time consuming, it's expensive. We go to the shows, we do progesterone testing. Timing, timing is key. And they all go to really, really good homes. You know, that's the main thing. Is that, uh, you know, it, it's not about the price. It, it's just finding a really good home for the dog. We met a dog that really doesn't bark, that's just chill. You know, and, and it's like a f part of the family. And it started off like that and people couldn't afford it. So we started having an accidental litters and it went to the family and this is it. This is the turnout 10 years later. We got a beer that just came out, that's our second one, and it's gonna be in increments. Uh, we probably got a couple, three or four songs on a soundtrack now that are all about Frenchies. Uh, San Quinn's on one, Guapo, we got, uh, we got another one with a few more rappers and we'll, we got our first country song coming out too. It'll be dope, yeah, it's fire. Probably uh, a few years back, there was a guy in uh, Korea that was really eyeing out our boy Quattro, who was the first lilac quad carrier in the whole world. The structure was perfect, his DNA was perfect, and he was DNA'd with UC Davis. And one year, he actually uh, offered me and my wife at a, a dog show like $76,000 when he was only about this size, exactly like this size. and. Uh, it, it, I got goosebumps and I got blown away and uh, I told him, nah, he's gonna make a hundred thousand in a year and I'll be able to sell them to you. And it was kind of jokingly, but the next year later, he came with a hundred thousand dollars cash and met me at my house and uh, bye bye Quattro. So now he lives in uh, Korea with high roller kennels out there and he's living his best life. You know, we started this in 2009, but it kind of opened doors with like, you know, a lot of athletes. So like Vernon Davis was one of our first athletes. He bought about three dogs, Navarra Bowman. It kind of opened up doors to other athletes through, through the NFL. And after that was the NBA. So 76ers, Portland Trailblazers, uh, soccer teams like San Jose Earthquakes, right? Uh, all those athletes, and it kind of just, you know, kind of blew us up from there. Uh, the 49ers, they now have a, uh, they have a emotional support dog, Zoe the, the 49er Frenchie, right? Uh, like today for the 10th anniversary, we have a 49er player here. Um, you know, he got his French Bulldog, you know, Jarek McKinnon, uh, Eric Armstead, all those players. Um, you know, the list goes on. Wow. You know, and I'm just I'm just happy to kind of be a part of, you know, that that industry, I guess you could say. Right. 
uh, with these athletes and things like that. So we just kind of blew up from there. You know, during that time, there was Got Milk, right? Everybody was like, oh, Got Milk. You know how those commercials came out? It was, yeah, yep, Got Milk. And then everybody just started calling us Got Frenchie. After that, it just went from zero to 100. Automatic. Yeah, it's all over the world. East Coast, West Coast, SoCal, NorCal, we're everywhere. Not only that, we made a new beer. It's an IPA. It's Got Frenchy Hazy. Yes. What, what Super dope. You want to uh, drink some? Tilted Mash Elk yeah, Grove, California. <laughs> we could go right to the bar and have a little yes. taste. It'll okay, be dope. Let's go have a taste right there now. Let's do it. This is a really good hazy that we did with Tilted Mash in El Grove, California. Really good hazy. It's like, what, 8.2? 8.2, yeah. 8.2%. Hey, Frenchy 10 for the 10 year anniversary, man. Get some. It's bomb. It's fire. Oh, cheers, cheers, guys. Cheers. Happy 10 year anniversary, guys. Yeah. Yes. Got Frenchy.